Hello guys! Welcome to the second part of the market structure video lesson. I had some modification in the previous video, so I made a short video about oligopoly. Now let's begin. Oligopoly is characterized by number one, few firms, or more than one, but few enough so each firm alone can affect the market. Number two, entry is more difficult but possible. And lastly, the firms are dependent, meaning each firm is affected by what others are doing. Because there are only few of them, each firm will base their decision by the action of the other firms. And the actions or decisions of one firm in the market can have a large impact on the profits of the other firms. The key feature of oligopoly is the tension between cooperation and self-interest. Two or more firms may either cooperate or not. If they cooperate, that means they decide on what price to charge and what quantity to produce. In effect, it is like they are behaving like a monopolist. And they will enjoy the profit just like the firms under monopoly. But most of the time, cooperation is difficult to maintain. As they said, cooperation is mutually beneficial but individually irrational. So in the end, firms will not cooperate. So they act individually and charge a different price. Just like firms under monopoly, oligopolistic firms are also price makers and they are facing a downward sloping demand curve. Examples of oligopolistic firms are automobile manufacturers and airline companies. Airline companies in the Philippines, we have Cebu Pacific, Philippine Airlines, and uh, Air Asia. More or less, these airline companies have the characteristics mentioned above.